If you've ever found yourself Googling, why is cybersecurity so hard? Or is cybersecurity a good career? You're not alone. In my notes for this video, I have go to Google and answer the most common questions that pop up. And gosh darn it, that's what we're gonna do. So let's get into answering Google's most searched cybersecurity questions. Let's start with something simple. Is cybersecurity hard? So I'm not gonna sugarcoat it and say that cybersecurity is easy per se, but it kind of depends on what you think is hard. I think anything can be easy if you've been doing it for a while. I would say that cybersecurity and the concepts within it can be hard, especially when you're first starting out because there's just so much that you can learn about and so many different things that you can do that it becomes hard to just like narrow your focus and learn things. I know that when people talk about cybersecurity and its difficulty, they bring math into the equation. Huh, that was kind of funny. And if you're going into cybersecurity and getting a computer science degree or a cybersecurity degree, you can probably expect to do math courses like linear algebra, calculus, discrete math, those types of things. And then you get into topics like cryptography. I think cryptography can be kind of hard when you think about all the, like, the mathematical concepts behind encryption. I think answering the question, is cybersecurity hard, is more difficult than cybersecurity is, because it depends. Overall, I wouldn't say it's easy, but it's just going to take some work to get into it and learn and master just like anything else. Is cybersecurity a good career? I'd say so. I mean, I might be a little bit biased about that, but I think it offers a lot of flexibility in a lot of positions. It has a good salary, it has a good career outlook because cybersecurity isn't going anywhere. In fact, as we start being more and more connected, cybersecurity is just gonna become a bigger and bigger portion of your life. And so job security. Is cybersecurity in demand? 100%, I think it is in demand. Pretty much every business that operates today needs some form of cybersecurity. Now, how much they're gonna invest in it depends on how many resources they have, and their size, but you can't really get away from cybersecurity at this point. So I would say, yeah, if you can get trained in cybersecurity, yeah, you'll definitely be in demand. Is cybersecurity one word? Now that, now that is a contested question. Let me know in the comments, is it cybersecurity or cybersecurity? Let's go on to another one. Why is cybersecurity important? Oh boy. Cybersecurity is important because whether or not you actively know it, it impacts your life every single day. You trust the bank to hold on to your money. And a lot of banking now is backed by computer systems that need cybersecurity to prevent people from coming in and stealing your money. You trust a bunch of different organizations with your personal information, like your social security number, your address, your health records. And those are stored on a database somewhere that need to be secured to prevent bad people from getting access to information that could ruin your life. Cybersecurity is even important in your personal everyday life. We talk a lot about how companies can be cyber secure, if that's a verb. Your online habits and digital footprint, how you secure your own information, all has an impact to cybersecurity. In cybersecurity, we also talk about public critical infrastructure and the computer systems behind them. If those aren't secured properly and we have an attack on them, that can mean massive negative impacts to modern quality of life. Like halts in transportation of goods, loss of power, loss of water, bad things. Bad things can happen if no cybersecurity. Take the Colonial Pipeline ransomware attack in 2021. That single event disrupted nearly half of all the fuel consumed in the eastern United States. And it caused widespread panic, fuel shortages, and soaring fuel prices. And that was all just from six days of downtime. Now imagine that on a national level. Yeah, cybersecurity is important. Why is cybersecurity interesting? I don't know, because you're a nerd, which is okay, so am I. Important for businesses. Kind of talked about it earlier, but we're all connected now. There really isn't a business that exists that doesn't have some type of cybersecurity needs. Just the scale of it depends on how big the business is and the amount of resources it has. So yeah, if you're operating a business in 2025, cybersecurity applies to you. Why is cybersecurity awareness important? Most of all cybersecurity incidents are caused by human error. And the best way to prevent human mistakes is awareness. The more aware you are of different cybersecurity security threats, the less likely you are to fall for them and be a victim of them. So that's why it's important. Let's go to another one. Why does, I mean, I can't just ignore that, right? But I'm gonna leave that one up to you. Why does cybersecurity pay so much? Because it's a highly desired skill. And when you have a small amount of people who have that skill and a lot of organizations that need it, you know, price goes up. Simple supply and demand. Why does cybersecurity use Linux? 
that one is a debate. There is a war in cybersecurity about Linux versus Windows versus Mac OS and which one you should use to be a real cybersecurity professional. I say it doesn't really matter. You use what works best for you and your workflow. But why do a lot of cybersecurity professionals prefer Linux? Well, it's probably because it's an open source operating system. It has a lot of cybersecurity features baked in and it's very customizable to whatever needs you have. Also in enterprise environments, a lot of the back end of what run products and services are Linux based. So being comfortable with different Linux distros or being able to navigate your way around the Linux terminal it can be really useful in cybersecurity. Okay, we're gonna go to can cybersecurity jobs be remote? They can be, I mean, my job is remote and I've worked remote ever since getting into this industry. Being remote in cybersecurity is less about cybersecurity itself and more about the company that you work for and what you do in cybersecurity. For example, if you're a network security engineer, it might be more beneficial for you to be on site because you need to interface with the different networking devices that are physically on-prem. Whereas someone like me who works in governance, risk, and compliance, most of my job is policy, compliance, and auditing, where I don't necessarily need to be on site to do that. Or for the times where I really do need to do a site visit, I can just come in for a week instead of being in office all the time. But again, depends on the organization, how they feel about remote work, and the specific duties that you do in cybersecurity. Now, I know you're waiting for this one. Can cybersecurity be replaced by AI? So that one is the talk of the town for basically every industry right now. Now, my take is I don't think AI is going to fully replace cybersecurity. Okay, let me pause right there for just a second. I filmed this video before all of this happened. Despite all of that, my thoughts around AI and how I don't think it's going to completely replace cybersecurity jobs still remain strong. But I wanted to clarify some things that I didn't mention in the original recording. First, AI and machine learning isn't new to the field of technology or cybersecurity. The public only started paying attention to it with generative AI and the release of ChatGPT a few years ago. You can look to things like next generation antivirus, which became popular in the mid 2010s for one example of how AI and machine learning has been in cybersecurity for years. What's changed is that AI has become more advanced and more importantly, more accessible to more people than ever before. Which means that as with every technological revolution that came before AI, there will be changes to the job market. I mainly see this impacting two things. One, entry level roles, and two, the types of tasks that cybersecurity professionals perform every day. From the perspective of a SOC analyst, which is one of the most common entry level cybersecurity positions, this means instead of spending a bunch of time manually reviewing logs and events, SIEM tools are going to be more heavily integrated with AI so they can do a lot more of that routine and manual review and draw insights from it for us. In fact, many popular SIEM tools out there have already begun to implement more advanced forms of AI into their products. And I think we're only gonna see more of that. Which means that human analysts, instead of doing those routine tasks, are gonna be opened up to do things that require human intervention. And I think that is the trend that we'll see move through cybersecurity and the tech field in general. When it comes to AI and cybersecurity, I think the human in the loop approach is going to be what sticks. Especially when it comes to decisions about risk and business operations, which cybersecurity firmly sits in the middle of. But that doesn't mean that you should just sit back and ignore this AI revolution. It means you need to upskill. Cybersecurity has always been a field about continuously learning and improving, even before all this AI stuff. If you're not already using AI, you really need to start using it and start figuring out how you can use it to be more efficient in the things that you do. Those who keep up with the trends and learn how to use new technologies as they're advancing are the ones that remain valuable in changing job markets. Every tech revolution causes changes to the job market. And sometimes that results in some jobs going away, but it also results in new jobs being created or old jobs being completely transformed. And that's what I think is gonna happen in cybersecurity. For me personally, I'm paying really close attention to the world of AI policy and governance because I think that's gonna be more important as we start to realize the risks involved with implementing AI into everything. But overall, I don't see AI completely replacing humans in cybersecurity. Now, keep everything I just said in mind as I fast forward a little bit and get back to the original video. I think that as long as humans are still touching keyboards and we're still building systems designed for human interaction, humans are still gonna be needed in cybersecurity. AI is just going to change what cybersecurity analysts do on a day-to-day -day basis. It's gonna cause you to have to upskill and you know change your skill set a little bit, but it won't replace it entirely. Okay, that one was a big one, but can cybersecurity hack? Yes, it can hack. You can be a hacker. You can be a penetration tester, an ethical hacker, or a black hat hacker. So yeah, you can hack. Can it be outsourced? Yeah, not every company has the resources to have their own internal cybersecurity team. 
So there are things like SOC as a service where different companies will be the security operations center for another company. Also, when you get into things like risk management, there's a lot about passing risk to different organizations that maybe you trust them to handle certain parts of the security of a system. So yeah, there are several different ways that cybersecurity can be outsourced. Do cybersecurity, what are the people of Google getting into? It depends. A lot of cybersecurity jobs are in the defense and government industries, and those industries can be a little bit strict on the use of certain substances. So maybe, uh, depends. Do cybersecurity boot camps work? Google's trying to get me in trouble. Um, they can. The thing, here's the thing. I'm not necessarily anti boot camp, but I think, I guess maybe I'm anti boot camp. There are good boot camps out there, but then there's also a bunch of crappy ones out there. Unfortunately, a lot of people get enrolled into the crappy ones, or they take an otherwise good boot camp with the wrong expectation of what they're going to get out of it. If you're going to go into a boot camp and your expectation is that you're going to go from nothing to being an expert in cybersecurity in three months, I don't think that's going to work out very well for you, especially in this job market where people with degrees and certifications are having a difficult time getting jobs. I think just having a boot camp is going to be difficult. Now, if you're using a boot camp as a alternate way to learn instead of going for something like a degree, I think that can be a great route. The issue is that is either the people applying for the boot camps or the boot camps that are kind of, I won't say it's going as far as false advertising, but I will say that it is making their product off to be a little bit more than what it is, or, you know, maybe that's false advertising. I'm not a lawyer, I don't know. Do cybersecurity jobs require a degree? They don't require a degree, but I think getting a degree will help you. And also the data suggests that people who have degrees earn more in the long term. So no, you don't need one, but I think it will help you if you get one. Do cybersecurity engineers or analysts I see over there code? Depends on what you do. I am always of the opinion that I think you should learn how to code regardless of if your position requires you to learn how. Knowing the basics of shell scripting or being able to script in Python or PowerShell or something like that will always be helpful to you. Now, of course, there's going to be positions where coding is a much bigger necessity, like being a security engineer or even working in DevSecOps. But there's also positions like governance, risk, and compliance or working in identity access management where knowing how to code isn't the most important thing, but if you do know how to code, it will help you more than it will hurt you. Let's go to Will Cybersecurity. Let's make this one a speed round, okay? Be replaced by AI. I mean, I'm not I'm not gonna go into that again. I feel like I beat that one to death. Be in demand in 2030, most definitely. Will cybersecurity be in demand in the future? 2030, at least at the making of this video, is in the future, so yes. Will it be replaced by AI Reddit? I don't I don't think you want the average Redditor as your cybersecurity analyst, but I mean, you know teach their own. Okay, I think that covers most of the common questions answered on Google. If there's any question that didn't come up when I was Googling, feel free to leave it in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer it. Or maybe I'll make another video answering your questions directly. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please make sure you give it a like and subscribe for more content about cybersecurity, tech, lifestyle, and how they all interact. And earlier I questioned if cybersecure is a verb, but I kind of like it. So until next time, stay cybersecure.